Hey everyone, it's Marvin McKenzie, and I wanted to share with you a little bit of problem that I had with my uh, MacBook Pro this morning, and uh, kind of let you know how I got it resolved. It was resolved pretty easily uh, after call getting a hold of uh, Apple support today. So it's April seventh, two thousand seventeen. I woke up this morning to uh, discover that my uh, MacBook Pro wanted to upgrade to a new um, iOS. Uh, uh, Sierra iOS, it's 10.12.4, and uh, so I did the upgrade update uh, that it, it asked for. You see, by the way, that I've got my um, specs on my MacBook here. Anyway, uh, so I went to went ahead and did the update, and when I did, the iMessage failed to log in. It wouldn't do that anymore, and uh, so the first time I tried to do it, I've, I've had some issues with this before, so when I turned my computer off and on, that I had need to um, to log back into iMessage and so forth. It seemed like it should just be able to just stick on, but it doesn't sometimes. Anyway, uh, so the first time I tried to log in, uh, it said my I had the wrong password. I knew that it wasn't the wrong password because I had to log into the computer just to get things started in the day. Anyway, so I knew it wasn't the password. I uh, password to work to to log into the computer in the first place. And then uh, I tried it again, make sure I did, you know, my, maybe I misspelled or did some typing error. And the next time I did it, it said that um, there was an error and that it failed to authenticate uh, the Apple ID. Um, next step that I took is I went on to Google, did a little bit of a Google search, and I found out that this is not a new problem, especially since uh, iOS uh, 10, uh, that there, since Sierra, there have been uh, in past updates that this same issue has come up and I discovered while doing that that not only was it affecting my iMessage it was affecting FaceTime as well. I went to FaceTime and confirmed uh, that that it would not um, log in either and so I um, <clears throat> went to uh, the apple.com searched up their support and when I went through the support features uh, for Apple ID and so forth I went through all of that it wouldn't really, there, it looked to me like there was nothing to answer this specific question, so I wrote a new, um, you know, new question. And, um, and then it brought me up a screen that gave me uh, several options for calls. So I, I thought there might be a chat option. There what, turned out there was no chat option for this. And um, so the option that I selected was to have them call me and they, they, within two minutes, and they did, they called almost immediately, gave me a phone call. And the tech that I worked with, uh, she and went through a series of, you know, checks, uh, wanted to go through a series of things to check, um, you know, making sure, you know, once again, um, retype in my password and do all those things. Uh, you go to how you do this when you go to, to um, your messages program, uh, go to messages app and then up in the preferences, uh, you select the account that you want to do your iMessages with and then you uh, then it gives you your account ID and um, and the place for your password. And uh, so she had me go through all of that and make sure. And then when it didn't work, she had me do it one more time. Same thing that happened this time. First of all, it said wrong password. She asked me to type it in again. Second time said error, failed, failed to communicate. At that point, she had me go to uh, appleid.apple.com and go through a process so that uh, when I went to the very bottom, uh, it gave me an opportunity to click on support and it, and it gave a passcode that she was able to use to authenticate and, um, and, and then be able to look at my system or do something like that. And then she, uh, from there, uh, she asked me to, uh, to do, once we took, did a couple of things there, everything was working there. Uh, then from there, she, what she had me do was to, to restart the computer and uh, what she asked me to do is when the screen goes back, uh, click restart and then push at the same time command plus option plus R plus P. I was to hold those two buttons down as soon as the screen went black. I was to push those four buttons and then to hold them down until the computer sounded twice. After the computer sounded twice, then to release the buttons and allow the computer to restart. Um, once I did that, I logged into the computer. I went to iMessage again, back to preference, back to account, and um, and got the account that uh, is my and my ID and my password. That time it worked, 
And um, just because I had her on the line, that pretty confident it would work. But I went to FaceTime and and I logged in I, uh, to uh, FaceTime too to make sure it would work as well. And it did problem corrected, and uh, so just worked out just fine today. Wanted to kind of let you know what happened with that. Hopefully, it'll be helpful to somebody else.